once you've created outcomes in your course, the true power of these outcomes comes in the ability to attach them to graded assignments, including assignments and discussions that use rubrics. The first step in using outcomes is to create any assignment or discussion as you normally would. Then, as you would if you were adding a rubric, you would scroll down to the saved version of the assignment and click the plus rubric button. While a previous component discussed the ability to create rubrics either by hand or by finding a rubric, when constructing or importing your rubric, you can begin, if you would like, by adding traditional rubric criteria and ratings, either from a new rubric or from a rubric that you have attached to another assignment or in another course. However, you can also easily add outcomes to your rubric using the Find Outcome button. This will allow you to navigate through your outcome groups that are created in this course to locate a particular outcome. Once you locate the outcome that you would like to use for this rubric, before you click the Import button, you have the option to determine whether you would like to use the criterion for scoring. Ultimately, this checkbox allows you to determine whether the rubric criteria associated with this outcome would include points as part of scoring or not. So in this case, if I choose to import this rubric and use it for scoring, you notice that this rubric criteria, which is identified as an outcome because of the target symbol, has point values attached and is added to the total point value of the rest of the rubric. However, if I add an additional outcome and uncheck the box to use it for scoring, you notice that although the point values are reflected, it did not add to the total point value. Thus, when adding outcomes as Canvas rubric criteria, you have a wide range of options of how you can use the outcomes, both as outcome measurements and for grading, just for outcome measurements, and or using the outcomes in conjunction with other rubric criteria. Thus, you could have a rubric that is entirely made up of outcomes, a rubric that doesn't have any outcomes, or a rubric that has the mixture of both. As with any rubric, you can also choose to use the options below the rubric to use the rubric to grade the assignment, to hide the score totals, and in the case of outcomes, while the default with outcomes is to automatically post outcome results to the Learning Mastery Gradebook, if you would not like this particular assignment or rubric to report to the Learning Mastery Gradebook, you can turn that off by checking this box. Once you have made your selections, you can click Update Rubric, and the rubric will be saved. While that process reflected how to add outcomes to a new rubric, if you would like to add outcomes to an existing rubric that is already tied to one or more assignments, you would need to do this from the rubrics menu. From here, you can see all of the rubrics that are created within your course. And by hovering over the right side of a particular rubric, you would be able to see a pencil icon, which allows you to edit this rubric. And in this case, if needed, you would be able to add an outcome to the rubric the same way that you did for any new rubric that you were building. Once you've finished, you can click Update Rubric, and that will attach that outcome to any assignment this rubric was already connected with. As you begin connecting outcomes to rubrics and therefore to assignments, you can use your Outcomes page to view which rubrics and assignments are attached to each individual outcome. To do this, you would come to your Outcomes page and navigate to the outcome in question. You would then click the title of the outcome in the right panel, which would allow you to see the aligned items, including any aligned rubrics and assignments that utilize those rubrics. Thus, as you can see, the power of outcomes comes in connecting these outcomes to individual student assignments, which will allow you to measure student mastery for the target goals.